Why do we need to glorify God? In Acts 17 verses 24 and 25, the Apostle Paul explained that God does not need anything from us as he is the creator of all things. God, who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands. Verse 25 Nor is he worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things. But God desires that man glorify him. In Isaiah 43 verse 7, the Bible tells us that God formed man for his glory, everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him, yes, I have made him. God explained that man was created so that he may bring glory to God. Man was made in the likeness or image of God as a reflection or mirror of God's personal glory. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Verse 27 So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Verse 28 Then God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis 1 verses 26 and 28. We are made in God's image and so, we necessarily ought to reflect God and his glory. According to Vine's Expository Dictionary of New Testament words, the word glorify is translated from the original Greek word, doxazo, which means to magnify, extol, Praise especially of glorifying, God, i.e., ascribing honor to him, acknowledging him as to his being, attributes and acts, i.e., his glory. The psalmist wrote in Psalm 139 verses 13 and 14. For you formed my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. Verse 14, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. We are God's handiwork. We bring glory to God as our creator when we conduct ourselves in a way that results in praise to him as our designer. This is like the work of art bringing praise to the artist, or the beautifully designed automobile winning praise for the manufacturer. The important thing to remember is that when we bring glory, honor and praise to God, he is pleased with us and will bless us even more.